So let's have one of our talks like we haven't in a while. So I want to tell, share a personal story of mine. And of course, I would love for your opinions. Drop down in the comments. Has this happened to you? What has been your experience with this? How did you deal with it? Give me advice. I enjoy hearing from y'all too. I don't want to talk all the time. So, so in this video, I absolutely want to take accountability and be vulnerable for a second. And this is going to be about catching feelings for a hookup. Essentially, in the moment, I couldn't even understand that I had caught feelings. But now that I've been out of the situation for a few months, I now realize that's what it is. And I feel like I may owe this person an apology. So anyway, let me give you a little bit of the background story. So I used to live in North Carolina. Of course, you know, I moved from South Carolina to North Carolina when I was living in North Carolina. Of course, I was a single man and I still am just enjoying life. So I told y'all, like when I moved to North Carolina, I met a lot of guys it was a lot different from South Carolina. Men were a lot more attractive, more open-minded. There was a variety of men to choose from. In particular, like, of course, at that time, I was on the apps. So, I met a guy on the app. He was in town visiting his best friend that lived there. So, his best friend lived there. He, This guy was from Virginia. So, he was visiting from Virginia. He was visiting North Carolina. So, anyways, we met on the app, talked for a minute, exchanged phone numbers. So, we exchanged phone numbers. He FaceTimes me talking we're communicating he's telling me how he's in town for the weekend all these things so okay so i'm leaving out a point so originally when he messaged me on the app i thought he was cute but he wasn't he wasn't my typical type like he wasn't the ideal guy that i would go for but he was still very attractive so you know he's kind of flirting and i'm i'm a little flirting back but i'm not taking it too far because i'm like yeah i can do with or without it but of course once we got on the phone i realized his vibe was cool i was like okay i'm interested i'm single he's single boom I'm not going to take it too seriously. Now, I do want to keep reiterating that this was years ago. I would not recommend inviting random people to your place now. I'm going to keep telling you all that in every video. But I'm not going to act like I wasn't a part of hookup culture inviting men to my place. I did. Luckily, all my encounters went smoothly. But anyway, back to the story. So, I ended up inviting him over. So, when I invited him over, from the minute he got into my place, I'm not going to lie, this dude literally took my breath away. Like... He was charming as hell. He was charismatic. He was outgoing. Like, he literally led the... He's just one of them dudes that you meet that just, like... I'll say it like this. Every now and then, you meet a man that you've never met before. You've never met one quite like him before. And that's all I can... He's one of those guys that leaves an impression on you. Like, okay, I'll never forget him. He's the first guy that really kicked it to me like this. That's how I was, like... From the minute he came into place, it was just... This chemistry is so crazy because we were just there to hook up, but we ended up, of course, we were smoking, we were drinking, we were chilling, enjoying each other's company, and that literally turned into us spending the whole weekend together. Mind you, he was in town for his best friend's birthday, but he ended up spending pretty much almost the whole weekend with me. He spent the night every night. He would leave, go with his friends for a little while. He came back. He spent the night again. I remember his friends went to one club. I was at the gay club. We were texting the whole time I was at the club about how he wanted to come over when I left the gay club. Well, then I left the gay club. I remember I was home. I took a shower and I was in the kitchen. Mind you, this is like three in the morning. I'm in the kitchen like prepping my food because you know I love to cook. So I was prepping my meal for the next day. So I was like, okay, it's three in the morning. I'm going to put the meal inside the slow cooker so it can cook all night. And when I wake up, it'll be cooking. I remember he came to my house after the club, in the midst of me cooking everything in the flow cooker. So he sat in the kitchen and, like, watched me cut up the food and kept asking me about what I'm cooking and how do I know how to cook this and what ingredient. It was just, you know, give me attention that I feel like I didn't have in a while. I hadn't had in a while, excuse me. You know, now I know it's just doing what dudes do, you know. But I can thoroughly say that this guy never led me on to believe that we were going to be anything more than a hookup. So... If anything, I took it the wrong way. But okay, so fast forward. Boom, he leaves, goes back to Virginia. We kind of text once or twice in between there. He comes back maybe a couple months later, visiting his friend again. But he was only in town for the day. Boom, got off work. He ended up coming over, hung out all night again. He spent the night. We did all those things. Boom, he leaves. So he left. At that point, I'm still living my life. He's living my life in his life in Virginia. I'm living my life in North Carolina. For some reason, I couldn't get this guy out of my mind. And I'm being fully transparent because I want to take accountability for what happened. But anyways, couldn't get him out of my mind. So for some reason, I ended up searching him on Twitter. And I found his Twitter. So instead of me following him 
I like like the tweet of his. So I like the tweet of his. When I like the tweet of his, he ended up coming and following me. So when he followed me, I followed him back. So boom, me and this guy have been following each other on Twitter for years. So we'd always communicate back and forth in the DMs. We were trying to link up, but for some reason, we just couldn't. Our schedules to match. He would be back in North Carolina. I was gone. And I moved back to South Carolina for a little while. He came to South Carolina at a certain point when he came came to Myrtle Beach, which was a couple hours away from where I lived. He wanted me to come to Myrtle Beach so we could pretty much spend a weekend with him. Of course, at the time I had something going on, I wasn't able to make it. He was always inviting me to come see him in Virginia. I just didn't have the time I had things going on. So anyways, it comes up to we haven't seen each other in almost three years. So recently, of course, you guys know I relocated again. So now I'm living in Florida. So when I moved to Florida, I didn't announce it. So he hit me up on Twitter around Thanksgiving time. And he was like, you know, we were just catching up. He's like, hey, nice to see you haven't, you know, what do you have going on or whatever. So he messages me and he's like, well, I'm going to be passing through South Carolina. I'd love to see you. Is that still where you are? And I was like, oh, no, I live in Florida now. So he's like, oh, really? Which part? And, you know, I told him which part. He was like, oh, I'm going to be there for Christmas. You know, my family lives up there. Mind you, I knew he had family that lived up there. We talked to in the specific area of Florida that I live in. We talked about this before. So fast forward, we ended up spending the Friday before Christmas together. And then we spent a little bit of time together Christmas Eve before he went and really hang out with his family. We hung out before he actually went to his family's house and stuff. So mind you, you guys already kind of know, like I've been infatuated with this guy over the years. Obviously I haven't seen him in years. So I still kind of have that nostalgia from us linking up and that feeling that he gave me. So I'm excited to see him, you know? So we had a good time. He's giving me all this attention. We're doing things that I typically don't do with guys. Like it's a lot of kissing, a lot of intimacy, a lot of hugging, cuddling, you know, things that I haven't done in a while. So I think that that kind of triggered an emotion in me that I had not, I can't say, I think I know for a fact that it triggered an emotion in me that I had not felt in so long. And I felt like this guy was giving me some attention that I had really been craving unbeknownst to me so we were supposed to hang out again before he left florida because he was supposed to leave florida like tuesday ish so we were supposed to hang out again before he left mind you i left and went to south carolina for a day or two and he was like you know tell me when you get back from south carolina so i can make sure that i can come and see you again before i leave to go back to virginia so i will admit that i never hit him up when i got back to south carolina because i figured he was, you know, hanging out with his family. So when I got back the next day, I'm like, okay, he's probably going to leave tomorrow. So let me hit him up. And I hit him up. We're communicating. I'm like, hey, what are you doing tonight? You know, before you leave, da 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 da. Nah, this guy had already said, like, I'm going to come see you again before I leave. So we had already made that plan in my head. So we're messaging all night. And then at a certain point, it gets kind of slow. Like he stops messaging me. So all these things start going in my head like, oh, is he linking out with someone else? He doesn't want to hang out with me again. Things that I should not be concerned about because this was only a hookup. But I was in my feelings. You have to understand, I was a little smitten by this guy. And that is my fault. Because, again, this guy never led me on to believe that we were going to be in a relationship. I know for a fact that we've always just been nothing but sex, hooking up, friends or benefits, I guess. For me, and, and this is so childish of me, and that's why I want to take accountability because I am wrong and I feel like I owe him an apology. I ended up blocking him. I was so frustrated. Well, I feel like I was disappointed at how he handled the situation. I felt like we were both mature enough for him to say, you know, I got something to do tonight or I might not be able to hang out again. Hell, even if he wanted to be man enough to say, hey, I'm a link with somebody else, he does not owe me that. And I've come to that conclusion. So, for whatever reason, we did not link up. He did not owe me an explanation. Would it have been nice for him to give me an explanation? Yes. Would it have been nice for him to be an adult and say, hey, I'm sorry I got caught up or I'm mixed up with family? Even if he was going to link with someone else, I felt like I was entitled to some type of excuse. And now, months later, I realized like, he did not owe me that. Like he, We fulfilled our obligations to each other when we linked up. Anything outside of that was extra. So now I'm in a place because I blocked him. So when I blocked him, I felt like he got in his feelings and he blocked me back. So me being the guy that I am, I may be upset for a little while, but I typically don't hold on to grudges that long. So I got over it and I'm like, you know, this was a bit immature. You should have not done that. 
So I went and unblocked him and I was ready to be like, okay, hey, I apologize. I shouldn't have done that. But he had already blocked me back. So now it's to the point where <laughs> I've had him unblocked, but he still has me blocked. So now I'm to the point where do I let it go and be like, you know, damn it, it's just a loss. We enjoyed each other's company, just let it go and move on. Or like, should I reach out and apologize? Because at this point, because I knew I kind of was a bit more infatuated with him than I should have been. I'm not interested in continuing to hook up with him. Um, at this point in my life, I don't want to be giving myself to people and is not coming with anything. And that's no shade to him because, like I said, he made it clear of what we were. He never led me on to be anything more. I just have to realize, like, I'm in a place in life where I want something different. So that doesn't align with what I see for myself. But, you know, I do feel like I owe him an apology and that's just the adult in me. But I just can't guarantee y'all that I'm going to give it to him because part of me is just like, well, girl, cut it at the loss, you know? But I want to know how y'all feel like. That's why I say hookup culture is so dangerous because if you're not careful, you can find yourself really catching feelings for people and not really knowing how to deal with those feelings and emotions, you know? Hookup culture is not for everyone. If you're not a person that can do no strings attached, I wouldn't recommend it to you. But this is just a story I wanted to bring to y'all. Y'all know my life is not perfect. I love to use my experience as a way to lay the premise for bigger conversations. Have you ever caught feelings for a hookup? And if you have, how did you deal with it? How did it end out? Like, comment, subscribe, let me know. I'll talk to y'all soon.